What makes Ashman the most potent test off spinner in today's game? Let's find out on Hogs Vlog. Right, there's five ingredients that makes Ashwin the best off spinner in the world of test cricket today. The first of those ingredients is his variations. He's got plenty of those. He's got the stock off spinner. Where the seam's facing to 45, that gives him good drift, drop, and extra bounce off the wicket. Then he's got the top spinner where the seam's going down towards the batsman. That will give him even more drop, and when the ball pitches, it will bounce more, but also hurry onto the bat where he's hoping to get the gloves and bring the bat pads into play. Then he's got the arm ball, a conventional arm ball where the seam's square and the shiny side is facing the batsman. Now, it's natural variation off the wicket. If it hits a little bit of grass, it will go straight on. If it hits the rough, it will grip and turn. But then he's got a saucer type arm bore as well, where the seam's coming down in such a way, and he's trying to land the ball on the shiny side. And what happens there, when it pitches on the, uh, on the turf, it will skid on and hurry on quicker than any other ball and rush the batsman. And also, finally, he's got the Dutra as well. So, I'll just pick up my ball. <laughs> he's got all the variations that an off spinner needs to bamboozle batsmen. Now, the next ingredient that he's got is his utilisation of the crease. Yes, he'll bowl his majority of the balls in a comfortable position out the crease, but he's prepared to go wider of the crease, changing the angle and changing the turn, and also coming close to the stumps as well, creating different angles from over the wicket. But even during overs, he's prepared to come around the wicket as well, just to change up those angles and change up the batsman's uh, footwork and the way that he wants to approach facing Ashwin. So very smart with the way that he utilizes the crease. The next ingredient that he's got is accuracy. He owns this little piece of real estate where the batsman's got to decide whether to come forward or back. And any top spinner, length comes first, then line. So owning this real estate, he's always on a perfect length, but he's changing the lines as well. And finally, uh, the fourth ingredient, sorry, fourth ingredient is his change of pace. During each over, he, bowl, he changes up the pace every delivery that he bowls. Very rarely, he bowls three or four balls with the same pace. And finally, the final ingredient is, as the stumps have fallen over, he's able to ma uh, manipulate the batsman in this area on a good length. So he's trying to get the batsman to come forward and then he'll go slightly shorter and make the batsman go back. And he's trying to play with the uh, batsman's footwork to try and get the batsman caught on the crease eventually where he's not covering the spin and that brings all his wicket modes into play, caught behind, uh, LBW, bold, as well as caught in the bat pad. And if the batsman's a bit frustrated and can't score, he's trying to get the batsman out of the crease where he bowl a little bit shorter and bring in the stumping. So he's got all the ingredients. He's got the variations. He uses the crease well. He's got accuracy. He's also a good change of pace and he manipulates the batsman to get them to play how he wants, creating the wicket taking opportunities. He's the best off spinner in the world. That's why he is the second fastest to 400 wickets in world cricket behind Mural Litherin. And I'm expecting him to take at least another 200 wickets. He's got plenty of cricket left in him. Ashwin, you're an absolute legend, mate. And uh, everyone in India loves you. So keep doing the good work and also making a few runs there as well. Now guys, thanks very much for joining me uh, on Hogs Vlog. We'll do a couple of lives leading into this test match. Uh, the final test match, India have got to draw it or win it to make sure they go to the World Test Championship Outlaws against New Zealand and make sure you join me by getting your mates subscribing down here for uh, more lives during the final test match. Thanks guys.